The learning objective for this lesson is I can tell the main idea and details of a text. So I am going to read you this book today, which is called Busy Butterflies. And when we are done reading it, we are gonna talk about what the main idea of the book was and some details to support that main idea. Busy Butterflies by Gail Tuckman. This is a nonfiction text, which means that the author wrote it so that they could teach us something. What do you think it is they want to teach us about? You're right, they want to teach us about butterflies. Butterflies have four wings. They have six legs and two antennae. And they've labeled the different parts. Here are the wings. The legs are down here. This right here coming out of the butterfly's head is called a feeding tube. Notice how it's going into the flowers so it can feed. And these right here are the antenna. Look at all the shapes and patterns. There's shiny, spotted, striped, and even see-through butterflies. Let's watch butterflies grow and change. There are four stages in a butterfly's life. Number one is the egg. Number two is the caterpillar. Number three is the chrysalis. And number four is the butterfly. A butterfly finds a leaf to lay its eggs on. So here's the butterfly. It flies over here to the leaf and lays its eggs on the leaf. Some butterflies lay one egg at a time. Others lay lots of eggs. Butterfly eggs are different shapes and colors. They feel different too. Some are smooth. Some are bumpy. Some have spikes. A caterpillar grows inside the egg. It chews a hole in the shell. It wiggles its way out. It eats its own shell, and then it starts to eat leaves, lots of them. You can see right here is the caterpillar eating its own shell. The caterpillar grows and grows. Its skin gets too tight. Its tight skin splits. The caterpillar crawls out in brand new skin. This can happen again and again. You can see over here, the caterpillar outgrew its skin and it shed its old skin, but now it has new skin on. It does this as they get bigger and bigger. Soon the caterpillar stops eating. It's about to make a big change. It hangs head down. It sheds, it sheds its skin for the last time. The new skin hardens into a chrysalis. So you can see right here, the caterpillar is done eating. It found somewhere to hang on a branch and it hangs upside down in a J shape and then sheds its skin for the last time and new skin grows that forms into a chrysalis until it hardens and looks like this. And do you know what's going to come out of the chrysalis? The chrysalis splits open. A butterfly pushes free. It has soft, wet wings. Its wings are warmed by the sun. Slowly they harden and dry. The butterfly flies off for its new life with wings. The butterfly eats sweet nectar from flowers. It can't chew. It sips through a straw-like tube. There's that feeding tube that we saw earlier. Other things that butterflies like to eat are human sweat. So if they ever land on you, that's probably because they're hungry. Turtle tears, tree sap, mud puddles, or rotting fruit. Some animals eat butterflies. This bird is hungry, but this butterfly can hide. It closes its wings. It holds still. It looks just like a dead leaf. Do you see the butterfly right here on this page? Right here. You can see the feet right there standing on the log. 
Butterflies have other ways to stay safe. Some have spots. The spots look like eyes. They scare some predators away. See, all of these spots look like eyes. Some predators of butterflies are lizards, frogs, birds, and spiders. Have you seen butterflies in a garden? Plant some flowers. They may visit you. You can have your own garden of butterflies. And that is the end of our story. All right, friends. So what was the main idea of this book? What was this book mainly about? Yes, the main idea of this book was mainly about the life cycle of a butterfly and how a butterfly starts out as a caterpillar and then it grows into a butterfly. Okay, and some details to support that main idea could be any of the things they talked about in this book. Okay, I would like you to be able to find just two details to support the main idea. Can you think of two things that happened in this book that support the main idea of the book being all about how a butterfly starts as a caterpillar and grows throughout its life cycle? Some details could be that they have their caterpillar and they grow inside the egg until they come out and chew a hole through it and then eat their shell. That's a detail. Or we could use the detail of when the butterfly is ready to hatch from its chrysalis, it crawls out, its wings are wet, and then it has to dry. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this book all about butterflies.